Man, Sentinel, you beat me. <laughs> you beat me in. That is so funny. <clears throat> but welcome to the stream. Let me get this shared out. Man, you made it. And not only did you make it, you made it just in time. You will be first up tonight, Kyle. <laughs> What's going on, brother? Let me get this shared out. And we will get this thing started. Almost ready. Matter of fact, let's hit the button. Witcher. Witcher made it. Rebecca made it. Guys, there's all kinds of stuff going to go on tonight. It's going to be pretty cool. Going to be pretty cool tonight. We have got some brand new titles on the line. We have the Women's European Championship. The women are going to be the only one right now that have the European Championship. We're going to have the Men's United States title. The only one. So the women are going to have the European. The men are going to have the U.S. There are brand new tag team titles on the line tonight. So Monday Night Meltdown is going to be quite the little event. And we're going to get started. And Angel made it. So Angel and Kyle will be in the very first match tonight. What's going on, Simba? Welcome to the stream, brother. And I debated about going back and forth and back and forth on this. So tonight we're going to see, it's been a minute since we've seen a survival title on the line. We are going to see that tonight. And Thursday we're going to see the women's survival title on the line. And then remember, this weekend is going to be our second pay-per-view event of Season 2. This actually went a little bit longer than I had planned on it going, but... Ipso facto, presto changeo, kind of how it goes. I'll tell you who's going to be trying to raid some stuff right now. Angel's going to be trying to raid Kyle's television title belt. Gotta love that. Guys, remember, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any time. We go live with some wrestling. The following contest <clears throat> is scheduled for one fall and is for the television championship. Introducing the challenger from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing in at 225 pounds, Angel. Angel, you guys can't hear the music in the background, but it'll make you want to dance. Tonight is not just a night of three brand new titles debuting. We will also have Rowdy. Rowdy making his debut tonight. 
who is, I believe, streaming with GC Rock over on the channel right now, on G's channel. We're going to have Bob making his season two debut tonight. Grooning in English will get another shot at some stuff tonight. And Angela Starr, Eagle Starr's wife, will be making her debut tonight against Rebecca Dawn for a brand new championship belt. So quite a few different debuts going on tonight. We're also going to see, it's not on the line, but we're going to see something, and we'll make a big announcement when we see that belt. And introducing the champion from the fifth dimension, weighing in at 239 pounds, he is the television champion, Big Money, Kyle. Yeah, so sit back, pop the popcorn, get all snuggled up in on the couch, relax, I'm going to take you through a whole bunch of stuff tonight on Monday Night Meltdown. This is a sexy looking title belt. I keep thinking about like changing it up, but then I see it and I'm like, I like it. Now, what's odd, Kyle's the only one that has no music. You can't hear it and neither can I. Because I keep forgetting to put the music on. <laughs> so, it's okay. Nice, I like it. <clears throat> I always like that, though, the top that you're wearing, I always like it. Typically, I'm the one who wears it. You have it off a little bit. You're not exactly wrestling, but you are on the show. For sure. Here we go. TSW television title on the line to kick off Monday Night Meltdown. Will we have a brand new television champion tonight? Or will Kyle retain the belt and leave with it? Angel's like, I ain't even looking at this. I didn't have time to look at it. So here we go, one-on-one, -on -one. Angel swinging, but Kyle blocks it. Angel still takes control of the match. I have never seen that move before. Very interesting move. Kind of gets him locked up against that top rope, delivers a few knees into the side. Almost drops him, but Kyle gets it reversed around, goes off that second rope, misses. Angel right there, right on top of it. And instead of letting him go, puts him in a backbreaker and then wrenches down on it a little bit more. Gotta love that. And a big slam going down. Nice. Nice, Rebecca. That is awesome. And it looks like right now, it looks like Angel is kind of the favorite to win it. But I don't think Kyle liked me saying that. So he gets it back up off that second rope. And now he's getting to work. <laughs> yeah, my wife actually went out and bought popcorn. Not the kind, not the pirate popcorn yet. But I've kept my eye out, of, eye out for it. I'm going to find it. There, 
be popcorn in their heels, I. Angel looking like he really wants his title, but Kyle sets him up, gets out of the way, and now presses the advantage. Says, get up, put your dukes up. Angel says, all right, I'll do that. I'll get them dukes up. Now, right now, the blood's rushing down into Kyle's, or, yeah, into Kyle's head. So that makes those slams even more when you can kind of do that little stall up top. And just throwing the bows. Mido should have stuck with them because Kyle didn't want nothing to do with the foots. The fetuses. <laughs> Pirate booty popcorn are two. And Angel kicks out, but that was a very close three count. But kicks out in two. I almost didn't even count that. And here he goes, rounded third base. Slides into home, but Kyle tags him out. Now throwing the bows again. Goes again for the foot, this time gets it. And this is a move that we have seen Kyle win on. Gets him with that trifecta, rolls him up. One, two, three, and we have a brand new TSW television champion. Angel says, Rep, I've been waiting a long time for this belt. You give it to me now. I got time to be waiting on the referee. And Angel must be waiting around for the gold like his whole outfit is gold. So congratulations out to Angel, but we know that the television title is a stepping stone into some bigger things. So I am sure... I am sure Kyle, Kyle's going to be a force. We will see what title Kyle's going after next. So this is going to be the debut of two other wrestlers. Now we've got, we've got Grinning on one side, we've got English on another. Of course, Peyton Hardy is our current TSW survival champion. Grady, going to get him. Going to get him in the mix. And then right over here, we have Ratty and we have Bob making their debuts in season two. They were both in season one. Not a lot, but they were in season one. Bob actually is one of almost the original kind of crew. He was the first in the first group I actually added in when I started adding people to it. I'm telling you, I should probably do a video and tell you how exactly how this all started. Like, it's, uh, it's a cool story. It's a cool story, but we haven't seen one of our survival title belts on the line since we redesigned the belt and put it back into action. So I figured tonight would be a good night to get that rolling again. We can make that happen. Grooney wants to challenge Rowdy. Rowdy wants to challenge Totes now that Totes got the big gold belt. That's coming up. Matter of fact, I am pretty sure what will happen at this pay-per-view this weekend. Both titles will be on the line if I was a betting man. The following contest is an Elimination Chamber match and is for the mm. Extreme Hardcore Championship. 
Introducing the challenger, representing American Alpha from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 240 pounds, Gray D. Hey Dave, welcome to the stream. Grooning, we might we might see that on Thursday night. Grady, welcome to the stream. Guys, remember, drop your likes on the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any time we go live, share the video. That was almost like a fishing maneuver right there, like we set the hook. I'm doing really well, doing really well. Very successful trip to Arizona, which was good, good for the company. And introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 360 pounds, the monster, England, Guy. English making his way down to the ring now in his debut. It did not go so well. Somebody gave him the one, two, three, and they gave it to him quick. So English. Coming in, fighting for the survival championship, trying to redeem himself here tonight. Will he be able to do it? Man, I love being back too. I miss it. I miss this when, when we do this. I miss the stuff. Look at English. English, second biggest guy still in TSW wrestling. So he's a big boy. Now remember, the order of all this is random. No idea who is coming out in what order. We set the match in the participants, but we don't know who's coming out. From Wolverhampton, England, weighing in at 240 pounds. Big pack. Look at Bob, slightly new look, but slightly the same. Bob wanted to make sure he got his G for Juicy on, so he put that right in the back. We are going to change that. You mark that down on your calendar. Bob ain't stepping over that top rope. He ain't big enough to do that. That's, that's how you get through the ropes, Bob. So remember, if the next guy that comes out of that is not the champion, the champion will be starting this match, and nobody has won for position one or two. Both could be position one, to be honest. Champion will be starting this match tonight. From your darkest fear. Weighing in at 375 pounds, the Hammer! Grooning, in his debut, did just fine. Tune somebody up. Now he's already talking about wanting to get up after the world champion. Not messing around. Now Grooning can go over that top rope if he wants. He's big enough. Look at that, even Grooning's like, uh, no. So that is funny. Oh, he, he went over the top rope that time. So we got two pretty big boys in the ring. That always makes it interesting. He says, hey, come on, guys. I got dinner plans tonight. We can't be doing this all night long. I got to get this title belt and then take it home. And introducing the champion, representing the NWO. Yes, you did. Alabama, weighing in at 234 pounds. He is the extreme hardcore champion, Handy. 
So the champion is going to be starting this match, and now in order for him to keep the title, he's going to have to do something nobody has ever done. And Rowdy, you did see Chris Danger will be showing up to this show. Is he in TSW? That I don't know. And if you guys don't know who Chris Danger is, he is one of the best, and maybe even my favorite, WWE 2K game content creator. So he puts himself up. I don't know Chris Danger personally. Like, he wouldn't even know who Totes McGoats is. Kamikaze Von Doob does a little bit, but I've been supporting him for a while. But when Chris Danger does show up, he is going to be wielding. Ah, he is not. Gosh dang it. But I will make an announcement when Chris Danger shows up. I forgot to switch something, but okay. Rebecca, I do too. I like. I, I have a ton of fun hanging out with y'all. You guys make it a lot of fun. Weighing in at 239 pounds, Randy. BDE, that's, yep. Yeah. I like that. I like them too. The vibes. Yep. As well as totes. Maybe totes one day will will be big enough that, that people will know who totes McGoats is. <laughs> Maybe not. Who knows? Even if totes isn't that big, we will still have fun every Monday and Thursday night. That won't stop us. We'll be fine. So Rowdy, or Rowdy in his debut has the opportunity to do something no wrestler in TSW has ever done. The champion, the survival champion, has an opportunity to do something nobody's ever done. I'll have to see how it goes. Well, wasting no time. Peyton Hardy gets up to that top rope. And remember, Peyton related to the Hardy boys. Toast channel is growing, and it's all because of you guys sharing the videos, liking, telling people about it. It's been amazing. Absolutely amazing what you guys do. Little wrestling family we got going. Love it. What kind of move is that? Ratty picks him up. Does a bridge maneuver, but crosses his arms and slams them down. Never watched Ratty wrestle up to this point, so this is going to be new for me as well. Most of the time, I've seen him wrestle a couple times in dark matches, but haven't even had time. And Ratty, I've had made for probably three or four weeks now. I've been doing little tweaks to him. And what goes up has got to come down. Big power bomb. But Peyton, instead of going after the pin, stays on the offense and takes it up to the top rope. But it looks like Raddy sees him. But it doesn't matter what Raddy sees. He still gets crossbody by Hardy. And now Hardy trying to call his shot. Might be a mistake. Turns out that it isn't. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So what's funny, since the legends have broke off, we haven't got to see Peyton Hardy. And if you remember, probably the most successful legend duo is Danny Lads and Peyton Hardy. McWayne and... and and Danny trying to get their feet up underneath them and get things rolling, but... Our fur babies are actually very quietly playing right over in this area. And Peyton thought that he might get Rowdy out before the next elimination chamber opens. But has not. Ratty turns it back around. And who is coming out now? 
the big guy himself, English. And if I was the two of them, I would be double teaming English right now. Jane, welcome to the stream. How you doing? I think. Yeah, Jane will be wrestling tonight as well. And we will actually see the in-ring debut of Chrissy Earp. Now, we saw her walk a wrestler down to the ring. But we will see her in, in the ring tonight. And guys, remember, if you're just joining us, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any time we go live. Share the video. Your second aunt's third cousin will be like, man... That's the example I want to follow. What a good share that person is. Look at English. Now, I'm telling you, at the top of this, I said it. English didn't have the greatest, like, debut. But he could turn that around tonight. One match does not make a career by any stretch. The other thing, and I told you we would see it again because it is in Aussie's contract, our main event will pit the brand new champion, Victoria Van Diver, against Aussie. <laughs> not exactly. You can a little bit, but not exactly. Like mono e mono, mono e one mono. Oh, big shoulder breaker, but Raddy recovers quickly. Now both of them started to go after English, but change your mind real quick. English now rolls up Raddy. And almost a three count, but this triple threat match is about to turn into something different. <laughs> and English keeps reversing that around with the old rump shaker. It's called the rump shaker. All I want to do is zoom, a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just shake your rump. Grady now, the next one out. So we still have Bob. And Gruning inside the cage. And it is going to be two and a half minutes before they come out. <laughs> and yes, you are. For a brand new title, we just designed it. <laughs> and the two original people are still in this match. Dragon Knob, welcome to the stream, brother. Look at Raddy taking English down, boots to the back of the head. Grady trying to put Peyton, who is the current TSW Survival Champion, trying to put him out of this match. And up to the top rope he goes. Now Raddy gets in the sharpshooter, locked it on English. Will English survive this? Looks like he may. He does. Raddy gives up. Referee, two. And a two count. Raddy rolls him up. And both guys kick out at a two count. But they have got to be getting tired. And the great equalizer outside the ring. Now, I don't know, but if you look at the ref... English's arm was technically in the ropes, but the referee didn't see it. English taps out. And now it's our two original competitors and Grady. And Grady's pretty much been in control of whatever part of the match he's been in so far. Another big slam. Great. Hey, Grady just passing out ass whoopings right now. And passing them out. One, two, three. And Grady pins Raddy in Raddy's debut match. 
not doing so hot. Peyton's still fighting, though. Remember, Peyton, our current champion, if he wins, that'll be a record. Bob now makes his debut. So as Randy exits in his debut, Bob enters the ring to make his debut. And will he fare better than English and Raddy? We will see, we will see. Grady now fighting out, getting back to his feet. Bob trying to take advantage of it, and Grady's like, thank goodness, I'm just going to step back, relax a little bit in this ring over here. Rolls him up, one, two. And Bob almost sneaks in a quick, a quick pin. But Peyton kicks out in two. Now, Grady with a big slam. But Peyton hits him with the hardy cutter. Rolls up the leg on Grady. One, two. And Grady kicks out in two. And Bob ends up saving Grady. From like a, I don't know, we'll call it, it looked like maybe a mini rock bottom or something was coming. And for his troubles, Grady says, I'd like to repay you, sir, with two tuppence or three suplexes. And he gives it to him the hard way. No tuppence. No tuppence for Bob. He gets the suplexes instead. I'm telling you what, man. Grady's delivering suplexes. He's delivering elbows. Bob's like, what is going on? He steps out. Grady, though, trying to get to his feet. And look at Gruning. Gruning's still there. Do not forget about Gruning. I think he's coming in about 10 seconds. Maybe 10 seconds from now. There'll be a timer on the screen when he's coming. You would have freaked out, though, if that would have went the way I said. Big power bomb. That's probably it. Dirty pin. One, two. Ah! You just got to win that. There it is. Like mini rock bottom. Peyton's got him locked into some kind of, we'll call that the, the Peyton submission hold. We have not seen that. And for some reason, Bob breaks it up, but Grinning's like, hey, I'll roll this leg right now. One, two, three, and Grinning comes in, doesn't do one move to anybody, and says, get out of here, and pins, <laughs> pins Grady. Crazy. It's kind of a strange turn of events. Grinning finally gets a a match go or gets a move on somebody besides a pin. Now, Payton is still the TSW survival champion and now has made it to the final three from starting in the second position, which might as well be the first. First and second start in the ring. Nobody has won it from that position. People have come close. Yeah, that Gurning. He's not all brawn, you know what I mean? Now, big DDT, but you know it's going to take a little bit more than that. So you got you got Bob doing this. Doesn't see Peyton. Peyton swings while Bob is moving, and, and he just misses. Now, Grudy gets Bob up in what they call the trio woe and starts putting the pressure to his neck. You were. Holy Moses, Grady. Like you were you were laying some smackdowns on some candy apples, if you know what I mean. And a crazy right hand right behind the back of the ear. And goes to do another hardy cutter. And Gruning stops, saves Bob, and says, Nobody beats up Bob but me. Bob says, I don't think so. Now Bob's starting to lay it out there. Put it on the line. And I don't know how much. And this is Bob's finishing move called the Bibbidi-Bobbidi-Boo. 
Rolls up the leg. That will probably do it. Two, three. And now the one thing we know today, we will have a new TSW Survival Champion. Dave, not today. You will be wrestling on Thursday. Dave's character is going to have some interesting stuff happening in the future. <laughs> it's one of those things as a kid, you hold your tongue and say apples. Don't say it around kids. It is not a kid-friendly joke. Bruning rolls up the leg on Bob, too. And I got to tell you, I thought that might have been it. He looked very high up on that leg, but that was not. Then he picks him to choke slams him and just throws him across the ring. That is the power. And Bob has got to use his speed if he has any hope of getting the best of grooming. Here he goes. Bibbity bobbity boo coming to grooming. Hits it, rolls up the leg. One, two, and only a two count. Bob can't believe it. He says, I just bibbity bobbity booed him again. Grooning ain't having it. Whoa, pulls the ripcord on that lawnmower. Grooning gets a knee right to the jaw for his troubles. Grooning going again with a little body slam or a little body to body slam. Yep, new champion alert. That's going to be twi uh, trending on Twitter. Bob reverses it back around. Thought that Grooning was going to get him in a power bomb again. Doesn't. Now Grooning gets him on a big, big slam. Bob gets up because I think we were seeing a big leg drop coming. Up he goes again. And out. Power bomb onto that. Onto that steel surface. Bob trying to get to his feet. Can't quite make it. Gruden can't decide where he wants to whoop him at. Rolls up the leg one more time. And still only a two count, and Gruning is a little bit beside himself. And is going to power bomb him again to the outside. And man, I would, oh, I, I might have gone for the pin right there. Throws Bob into the side of that cage. Throws him there again. He bounces off into the steel part of the cage. Oh, and Gruning split open there, but Gruning almost back to his feet. Bob trying to maintain the control in this. And looks like he might be doing it again. And drops right down on the peaches. No guy wants the peaches. Ripcord. Rolls up the leg. One. Two. Oh, a grooning kicks out again. Bob is like, look, I'm going to get these guns started get these howitzers rolling starts using those to beat on Gruning's head but Gruning tries to get to his feet Bob sees it coming and he's like no big clothesline and the move that split him open that chin buster And now, getting up to the top rope, Bruning, you can tell he's tired, gets to his feet, but sees him coming, catches him, and puts him in a tombstone. This could be it. I would say he's in the ropes if I had to guess. Referee, don't give a damn. 
and somehow kicks out of the tombstone and Gruning tosses him one more time. Thought he was going for the pin, doesn't. Doesn't, Bob catches him riding dirty. One, two, three. And our brand new TSW Survival Champion in his debut, Bob. Here is your winner and new Extreme Hardcore Champion, Big Bad Bob. Big Bad Bob. Don't know about the big part. But it is Bob. And that was quite a fight. I don't think Gruning was ready. Like he was still. Had a lot of energy. When they started going after it. And I thought there was no way. He ended up enduring a lot. A lot of pain. Now here we go. Our very first introduction of brand new title belts in the tag team division. This is the TSW Intercontinental Tag Team Titles. All four horsemen are going to come down to the ring. And you can see McWayne's got a slightly different look. We took the, the big green off. I kind of like this better. It still says era of violence, but now it says it across his mask. Looks a little bit cooler. Kind of goes a little bit better with the color scheme. But all four horsemen coming down to the ring, making sure nothing goes wrong, and the match is on the up and up. Yeah, that was. That was so far the best match of the night. And this is probably the first time, this might even mark the first time all four horsemen will walk down to the ring. I'm almost interested to see how this works. Because I can't put in four people entrances. There are some that are there, though. So we'll have to see how it goes. They just put in a new one for uh, the Hurt Business that I think I'll use kind of almost as a default one because it's very defaultish. like It doesn't have like where the NWO is like for life and Hogan's playing because you obviously know who that is. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think she'll be good. She's tough. You can hear one of them. That's my dog right there. So this is interesting because when you look at probably the best, the best version of the tag team for the Horsemen so far has been Eagle and Rowdy. So having Eagle and Ghost, we've had Robo and Ghost, we've had Robo and Eagle. So it's interesting. And right now, to be honest, you look at... Uh, the legends, they're struggling a little bit to get their, once they left the NWO, to get kind of get their feet up under them and propel themselves forward. But I, you know when they do, when it happens, they have proven it already with the great tag title run. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be the real deal. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Tag. Team Championship! Introducing the challengers. At a combined weight of 447 pounds, the Four Horsemen! Well, that was super weird. They... Ta-da! <laughs> they just disappeared, so I don't know. You wait till you see Eagle Star's wife. Remember what Eagle Star looks like. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 458 pounds. They are the Intercontinental Tag Team. Champions, 
the N-W-O. Gotta change that. Mental note to self. I haven't changed the name. I changed everything else. I forgot to change the name. You gotta be you gotta be pulling for some four horsemen. You know what I mean? Now all four horsemen are down at the ring. And is that gonna play a role tonight? It very well could. So right now, wait till you see these title belts. I'm shocked they're not around the waist. It doesn't, that doesn't make sense either. That's a weird little glitch. Wait till you see these title belts. That's sharp. See you in a few, Rowdy. Those are different from every other tag, uh, tag team championship. Now, that is also, we have a version of that in the women's division as well. So keep that in mind. We won't see that. Those title belts on the line tonight, we'll see that. The women's uh, intercontinental title on Thursday. So. Now remember, if the Legends can get it going, this is about the third or fourth match they've got. That's about the time teams start to gel a little bit. And the game knows how long they've been together. So. Should be interesting. This is about the second time, maybe, second or third time, that Eagle Star and Ghost have been on the same team, like in the ring together. Of course, they're four horsemen. We're not saying that. But that's this is the second time that they've actually been teamed up in the ring. So they could be gelling too. Rowdy and Robbo on the outside could be playing a... Could be playing a factor here. All things to keep an eye on. And McWayne really looking to get things turned back around. And here we go. Double team. And we could very well see a two on four handicap match. Wouldn't that be something? Whoa, Danny just barely ducks. Ghost clothesline. And now Ghost trying to get the old Ghost to the post. He makes it. Tags in Eagle Star. Eagle now stops Danny's advance. And if you look at Eagle, he's got a slightly different look in the pants area. And he does have, it says right on the side of his pants, it's hard to read, so I'll tell you, it says the bounty hunter. But I like these, I like these pants in match. Now Danny jumps right in front of Ghost. Thought Ghost might try to stop him, but he doesn't. And if you see this, this is key. This is a this is a gameism. I just want to point it out. Danny went and put him into a submission hold. Did you see McWayne got out of the way instead of getting in right there? Got out of the way so he could have got in and went straight after Ghost. That's something that that they changed in this last update, so that you have more title defenses or or pin defenses versus pin breakups. That's why the breakups are a little bit slower, and they should be. It's too much. Eagle jumps, gets him in, and I, so far in this match, the legends have controlled what's going on. The horseman trying to get it turned around. Rowdy, if you see, he's already down over here. Bravo's sitting up over there. But Ghost right now, kind of on a little bit of an island all by himself. 
but he seems to be doing just fine. Eagle now back up into the corner. Ghost missed it. But now McWayne right in. Looks like he's going to try to jump right over Rowdy. And hit McWayne. And misses them both. He didn't even hit Rowdy. Miss Rowdy. McWayne confused on who the legal man is. Tried to go after Rowdy, but Ghost caught him. And broke it up before anybody could touch the world champ. There's a very strong possibility that this weekend at the pay-per-view, TSW Adrenaline, that Rowdy will put his world title on the line against Totes McGoats, which will put his undisputed title on the line in a double title match. Not a unification match, but a double title match. That will be interesting. I wish they still had it where if you did have two title belts, you could you could wear them down to the ring. They used to have that. They haven't had it in the game for a couple years. I don't know why. But it would be super cool if they put that back in. Now, Eagle going up to the top. He says, Ghost, if you're going to let it fly, this is how you connect on it. It connects on that big elbow and then drives McWayne's head into the ground. Rowdy kind of stopping while McWayne gets split up and Rowdy kind of guarding the thing that's going on on the outside of the ring. Grady, if you don't know this, Cody doesn't have a title. That belt in the last episode was won by Toast McGoats. Totes McGoats, undisputed universal champion for now. For now. Again, but he does make it over the stairs. And who knows what McWayne's doing. McWayne, like, he's like, he's just trying to get out of the way now. <laughs> that would be an interesting match though but the thing is if you're going to fight Cody Rhodes for the moniker American Nightmare what are you giving up like what is on the line that would be equal to that Now, Eagle wisely resets his clock because I was like, what is going on? You can't win the title outside in just a huge series of right hands. Now, where the Legends were in control in the beginning, they haven't been controlled in a minute. And Eagle's kind of got this thing turned back around. Is Wayne going to get up? This could be a huge mistake. Nine. So the four horsemen win the match, but did Eagle not come through with the title belt. Horseman. So they won the match. But your TSW Intercontinental Title Champions remain with the legends. That is an old horseman move. Now, I wished beyond wished beyond wished. I was running out of time. I started the thing and I forgot to do one thing. Chris Danger... Although he doesn't have it on him tonight. Apparently they lost it at the airport, but they will find it. 
is the current YouTube champion. We have a YouTube title belt, content creator title belt. Very, very cool looking. Not like the other ones that you could even possibly download. We completely redesigned it. And what we're going to do is take eight of the smaller content creators, let them battle it out into a tournament for the bigger ones like Chris Danger, GC Rock, Kamikaze Von Doom. And a surprise one, I'm not going to tell you. A surprise one. The first four, you'll have the eight. It'll go down to four. Then they'll face off against the larger ones. And it'll be an eight-man tournament all the way to the end. Ending in somebody becoming the YouTube title, YouTube champion. And that belt will only be defended at pay-per-views. And not all the time, maybe two, three times a year. It's not going to be a big, a big thing. But if you guys haven't seen Chris Danger's channel, type Chris Danger, WWE 2K22 into the thing. It, it'll pop right up. But tonight, Chris Danger will face off against Ketri. What's going on, Digital? Welcome to the stream. We finally fixed the following contest. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 238 pounds, the Gladiator Kid Ray. Finally fixed Catry's kilt. And if you notice, right up here, he's got an IWO, the Irish World Order. Now he's the only one that belongs to it. I don't know anybody else who is necessarily Irish. But I did think the IWO was pretty funny, so <laughs> we got them patched up. And his opponent, accompanied by the Reaper from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 190 pounds, Chris Danger. Chris Danger making his way down to the ring. Totes McGoats walking with him. Totes McGoats also not wrestling tonight at any point. But Chris Danger making a TSW debut. And we still don't know if Chris Danger is really signed with TSW or if he's only here about the TSW or about the, not the TSW, but about the YouTube championship. But regardless, Kedry and Chris Danger about to get it on. And if you've ever seen Chris Danger... It's a very, very good face scan right there. Kedry, though, says he doesn't care who he is. Grabs him, reverse DDT, and Danger right away starting to understand just how talented the TSW wrestlers really are. Reverses it back around again in another... Reverse CDT. Kedry rolls up the leg. Chris kicks out in two and one. What you need to do is take the Cody neck tattoo like you can't take it off, but... Take his name, get some rights to his tattoos. That'd be crazy. What kind of a move was that off of the top rope? Huh. Okay, well.
That's a weird loop to be stuck in. Hold on, let me watch totes. Okay, um, let's just assign a controller to totes my goats. Okay, let's unassign the controller now. I don't know why Totes did that, but okay. Now we're back into it. Chris Sager back on top, throws Kedry outside. Now up to this point, Kedry's had a pretty good grasp on this match. And it looks like he's working to maintain it as a matter of fact. Little pump handle slam. Oh, not a slam. Turns it around into a belly buster. That's cool. You tell them to come check us out. We love we love new people coming in. Joining the the TSW wrestling revolution. Oh, that could be a name of a, a pay-per-view. Chris Danger gets in, played it up to the crowd. Kedry's like, I got time for the crowd. And gets that ankle lock locked in. Referee, though, right there on top of it. Chris Danger gets it reversed back around. But so far, I'm, I'm, sh I'm not going to say I'm shocked, but... Kedry has been on another level tonight. And Chris, Chris might have thought he was going to come in and just hand it out. Hand out the butt whoopings. But Kedry had something else in mind. Chris now back to his feet. And getting ready. Looks like Kedry might be entering the danger zone. Danger calls it. Goes for the knee, misses it. And there it is, Irish car bomb on Chris Danger. And that is a quick victory. Now, I'm telling you, Kedry, the last couple matches, has been on like Here level three. Winner, the Gladiator, Kid and then you put an Irish world order instead of a new world order, just the Irish world order. <laughs> he might be poking a little fun at the NWO, but you put that down. Gets him all kinds of pumped up. Besides that, only God forgives. No danger zone today is right. Now, here we go. We've got a debut. Eagle Star's wife, Angela Star, making her way down to the ring. Sentinel going to bring Rebecca down to the ring, and she is going to carry the TSW Women's European Championship. Now, we've added the U.S. title. That's going to be a men's title. We've added the European title. That's going to be the women's title. That way we don't know, you know, that'd be four titles. I don't know. It's too many titles. We have a lot of titles as it is, right? So we'll just do European with the women. United States with the men gives me a chance to get the creative juices flowing. Wait till you see these title belts. Super cool, I think. And you're going to see U.S. title is also going to be on the line tonight. So we've already debuted the TSW Intercontinental uh, Tag Team titles. We're going to debut them next, uh, the next episode on Thursday for the women. And I told you, Becky, like she ends up losing the title, right? But on to bigger and better things. So now she's going to debut the European Championship. And I wouldn't be shocked if before too long, especially if Ozzy is the champion, the world champion, that Becky does not get her world title shot before too long. Should be a good match. You can tell the entrance attires are very similar for the stars.
Yeah, what's funny, I was making the wrestler with no name. She had no name at the time. I was making the wrestler, and I said, you know what? This reminds me a lot of Eagle. So I reached out to Eagle. Eagle gave me some information. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's European Championship. Not sure. Challenger, accompanied by the Eagle from Great Falls, Montana, Angela. So far, every manager has disappeared. I don't understand what's going on with that. This is quite the entrance, though. So Angela making her debut tonight in a debut title match against Becky. This is a pretty cool title also. And introducing the champion, accompanied by the Blueprint Big. Sinister from Virginia. She's the women's European champion, Rebecca Daw. Check out, I, it's hard to see it, but check out the detail on that belt. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'll change that. I know that. My bad, Eagle. I didn't even look at that, to be honest. The detail on that belt, though, is something else. It's the first, like, gold and gold, red gold. Unreal. Yeah, they, they, they've got a boxing entrance, but their striking mechanics look a little boxer-ishy. If that's a boxer-ish, yeah, that's something, I don't know. Look at this, though, when he holds it up. They usually get a decent shot. Look at that. There's some silver in there with some gold. Like, I, it's not too much of any one thing. So, anyway, interesting. Now, this should be a good match. I also have never seen Angela wrestle, so this is going to be a first as well. But Becky, like she does typically, gets off to a quick start. And it would be hard to prepare for a match like this because, really, how do you prepare for somebody that you've never seen? You've got no tape on it. Don't know. But Angela steps back. Becky misses that. And Angela now wrenching on that arm. Takes it up to the top. Becky, does she see her coming? No Holy Moses, what is that? I would have, that would have been it. I would have, somebody stepped on my belly like that, I'd be like, I'm done. I'm done, rep, count that out. What's going on, Skulls? Welcome to the stream. Remember, guys, if you're watching and you're new to the channel, Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any time we go live. Share the video. That way, your Aunt Susie in Nebraska could say, look at, look at my sister raising kids like this, or look at my brother raising kids like this. 
They're such good chairs. It's unbelievable. I should send my kids out to their house to teach them how to share better. And a big boot to Becky. Awesome. Love it. Thank you, Skulls. Becky now getting it turned back around. Angela has kind of controlled the match a little bit. A little bit of back and forth. But I think Angela right now would have... Because as soon as Becky starts to get an advantage... Angela starts trying to collect those bounties. Rolls up the leg. One. Two. And a two count vengeance. Welcome to the stream. Vengeance, you will be wrestling this Thursday. What was that? Kind of a neck breaker. And then whips Becky out. Now I'm telling you, Becky's super tough. And if Angela underestimates her at all, Becky can end the match with the quickness as she has shown us. Gets her, whips her, misses. Thought she was going to throw her into that corner post, but misses the post. And now she gets up. And Angela is on another level this match with the reversals. Big bulldog, and that might be... No, recovers pretty quick. That might be the match right there. And it's a draw, so Becky, using an old horseman tactic, retains the TSW European Championship, but you can tell that's not going to be over. I don't even think Becky's going to want that one to be over. Horseman, man, ever since the horseman started using, hey, they said, hey, horseman tactic. Ever since they said that, they have had that used on them multiple, multiple times. So here we go. We have Jane. Speaking of wives, we have Heather. Savannah is actually my daughter. But we have also the debut of Chrissy Earp in the red, white, and blue. She made her, like you saw her, in the last episode of Thursday Night Wrestling, but she didn't wrestle. She escorted a, a wrestler down to the ring. So she will make her in-ring debut tonight in a fatal four-way elimination match. Jane, the TSW Intercontinental title holder, Chrissy Earp, Heather, and Savannah all getting ready to get it on in this match. No titles on the line. Don't always need titles, but there's been quite a few titles on the line tonight. So, <laughs> Kamikaze Von Doom is going to be wrestling tonight, I believe, in the next match. And not only that, he is going to debut the men's United States Championship. He will wear it down to the ring in its maiden voyage to see who will come away with the United States title tonight. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making her way to the ring from the Rocky Mountains, Christy Erb. So, Kamikaze, that is exactly why I started doing this. I started it as a kind of a WCW thing. I stopped doing that. And I started doing with people we know. 
in the ring. It's a lot more fun, I think, doing it that way. But yeah, it's that kind of feeling, those kind of matches. That's when I was a big wrestling fan. I rarely even watch it. I keep up with it, but I, I rarely watch it now because I miss the old WCW, WWF, WW, like early WWE, Stone Cold type days. And her opponents first, representing the NWO from Huntsville, Alabama, Heather D. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, really appreciate that. And guys, remember, a lot of you in here like the Division content, Kamikaze Von Doom. You probably already know him as the Division content creator. But if you don't, go over to his channel, subscribe, do the thing, and turn on his bell notification so you don't miss any time he goes live. He likes to stream a little bit later at night. Him and GC Rock typically do not stream at the same time, or... They typically don't even drop videos at the same time, but a lot of great video content over on this channel. Go check that out. Eagle did not win the belts. They got horsemen. They got a count out. The European title, they got horsemen. They got counted out too. So, but, yeah, I mean, they won. They just didn't bring home the belts home. So, it happens. One of my other favorite entrances of anybody, Jane, making her way down to the ring. TSW's women's intercontinental title holder. From Concord, California, the women's intercontinental champion, the legend killer, Jane. Jane's got time to kill legends, win dance contests, even give Kedri a run for his money with Kedri's moves. <laughs> Look at that fancy footwork. <laughs> winning is winning. Very true. And now, a wrestler that we haven't seen a whole lot of, Savannah, will make her way down to the ring tonight as well. The NWO on the women's side have also shrunk down, even though we haven't fixed that, apparently, but has shrunk down to five women. Savannah, no longer in the NWO, kind of out now doing her own thing, makes her debut for the first time outside of the NWO. Representing the NWO. From Huntsville, Alabama, the Warrior Princess. Yeah, yeah Jane's entrance, I love it. There's some that, for different reasons, like if you watch Kezabu's entrance, it's because of how the light and everything interacts. It looks very, like, photorealistic. Jane, love the movement with the dances and the stuff. Kedri, the same way. Getting his dances on, right? He's getting his dances on. I'm not even a dancer. You wouldn't know because I'm always... But I got to keep it in, right? I got to keep it in here. I can't be getting out here. I'm not this kind of dancer. I'm this one right here. I got to keep it in. I got to keep, like, Sifter's old entrance, right? I got to keep... I might throw some bows in there, right? But I got to keep my hands in. Got to protect the chin, Johnny. Sweep the leg. I'm not going to do it. That's too much movement. I got to keep it. I got to keep it close. All right. Four way, fatal four way going downtown right now. And we have an elimination match. That means three people have got to be pinned or tap out to end this match. No knockouts. We do have one match type where there are knockouts, but none in this one. So Jane and Chrissy Earp facing off. Love the name Earp. Lone descendant of old Wyatt. A great, great, great granddaughter of Wyatt takes a boot right to the face, and Jane lets the whole crowd know she's digging it. Heather. 
taking care of Savannah. Savannah rolls out. That's another thing to kind of watch for in this last update. They also fixed the hair physics, so just something to keep your eye out on. Mainly for the women. Christy Earp now getting over. Ducking somehow Jane and getting the best. Of, getting the best of Jane on that one. Back over to Heather. Heather misses Christy, hits Savannah, knocks her down, but now Heather back on top. Savannah sees Heather coming and reverses that around. Reverse DDT, also commonly known as the Scorpion Death Drop, a move made famous by Sting and his one of his finishing moves. But Chrissy looked like she was going for the pin. Everybody missed. And then Heather and Jane trying to get the crowd into it. Heather says, why not let it fly? Big boot, don't even know how she got her foot up that high. But Savannah sneaks in and whips Heather into the corner while Jane also recovers. And Christy Earp now making her way back into the ring. See, I probably would have stayed out of the ring. I would have been a spectator. I would have been like, hey... Sentinel and Becky, pass me the popcorn. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch the best. I got the best seats in the house. And wait till these guys pin each other, and then I'll be like, okay, hold my popcorn, hold my beer, watch this. But that is not what's going on. Oh, please be, please tag her out. I am telling you, I am waiting to see. And Jane's the only one that I've seen do that pin. I am waiting for Jane to pin somebody with that. I don't care who it is. It's not even possible, but it, it could have been me, and I'd be like, no, you get totes out. So look at this move by Christy. That is kind of a triple whammy because you have the arm up behind the back too, and when that comes down, you have all of that force Wrenching on not just your back in the back of your head, but now on that shoulder, making it harder to kick out next time. Heather's got the ankle lock knocked in, and this might be the thing that's saving Christy right now. Savannah fights out of it, though. And I was about just to say three, because that's how close it was. But Christy kicks out. In two and 99 one hundredths. And Heather clears the ring. Heather's like, hey, y'all get out of here. This is my ring. This isn't the worst town I've ever been to, but this is my ring. That is so funny. I'm shocked Heather got back to her feet that fast. Throws her into Savannah, past Savannah, into those steel steps. Jane now let it fly on Savannah, throws her into the steel steps. And Christy's series of kicks, referee in position, two. And Heather kicks out into Savannah. Get, oh! Was gonna say gets put out of the match, but does not but she is working on it. Jane punts that field goal from about 54 yards and it is good. Super excited about that. Chrissy off the top rope onto Heather. And now Jane letting it fly. That sounded big, but Savannah ducks it, gets it turned back around. And remember what I told you Jane is really amazing in one-on-one. -on -one. Where she struggles is in multiple people matches. No titles on the line tonight, however. Uh, apparently, Christy pissed off at the referee. Gave him kind of a little rock. And this is Jane's finishing move. The last dance of Mary Jane. Referee way out of position. Two, 
And how did Savannah kick out of that when she is on the outside of the ring? Got DDT big time with very little mats. Chrissy also. Yeah, if the ref wasn't before, he is now. A competitor has been eliminated. Savannah has been eliminated by Jane, and this might be... Maybe Jane was like, look, Frankie Two Fingers, stop saying I'm bad in multiple people matches. I'll show you how this works. Only a two and a half count. Jane playing up to the crowd. Probably doesn't see Christy coming. And Christy knocks her right into the thing. But Jane recovers quickly. And Christy saved by Heather. But you know what that means. When you help somebody out, they typically turn on you with the quickness. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah I know what you meant I know what you meant so now Christy the only one left in the ring telling everybody get back up get in this ring referee keeping his eye on Christy this time he's like I'm not falling for it I'm not having it looks like Heather's starting to make it back to her feet Jane back up first Gets in the ring. Christie's waiting and waiting quite a long time. And throws throws Jane back out. But Jane holding on to that rope. Christy gets the sleeper hold locked in. Will Heather tap out? Night night. Go night night. And lets her up. Rolls up the leg. And this might do it. One, two, three. Put her to sleep enough where she couldn't even kick out. But now, Jane waiting on her. And it just turned into a one-on-one -on -one match. That's exactly what it should remind you of. I always found it funny. I always said my, my gangster name would be Frankie Two Fingers. Or Knarf the Knife. Not Frankie the Knife. Knarf. Frank backwards. 27 guesses on whose name is Frank. Weird though, right? No, but that's exactly where it comes from. Now Jane gets shocked. Don't think she even saw that coming. Is put in the sleeper hold. Can't she fight out? No, Christy let her up, and she just pinned Heather on this move. Two. And Jane kicks out in two. Christy is like, what? Tries it. A oh, no. Arm bar now. With the leg even in there. Will Jane tap? And she does. And in her debut match, Chrissy Earp pins two competitors to win the match. And that, I would say, is quite a debut. Here is your winner, Christy Earp. Christy going to be a tough competitor, not one of the bigger competitors that we have in TSW. And I will say it for the last time, completely made up. Not in TSW, I don't know who she is. But we need to bolster the women's division, and that's what we just did with Christy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess you could kind of you could kind of pin those. Hey, and I'm just telling you, my best friend's a redhead, and she says, very specifically, redheads don't have souls. That's why they're better. Hard to argue. <laughs> Hard to argue, but oh yeah, that's right. I love those movies, Rowdy. Love them. So now, GC Rock, our current TSW Intercontinental title holder, 
Rob Simpson, the leader of the NWO, which means it's the next match. Yep, it's the next match. Uh, we will see Kamikaze Von Doom walk down that aisle with the brand new TSW United States Championship. That's going to be the male title version. The women's title version is going to be the European Championship. And guys, it didn't matter which way it goes. I didn't, I didn't really think that through at all. Um, could have easily went the opposite way, but that's the way it went. So for now, that's how it is. And he's going to be putting the title on the line tonight against the other part of Doom, the leader, Recon Delta. So that's going to be interesting. Be the first time or second time that they lock it up. But right now, GC Rock, SC Jumpman, and Rob Simpson getting ready to lock it up. And this is a true triple threat match. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the corporation from Manchester, England. Weighing in at 313 pounds. The Intercontinental Champion, G.C. Rock. So G.C. Rock, one of the few wrestlers to have a different entrance with the title on. However, comma, SC Jumpman has a different entrance too, and you should recognize it. And SC Jumpman is the only one that has this entrance. It used to be Toast McGoats. But when SC Jumpman made his own character, he beat me to it. So I let him have it. Touche in season two to SC Jumpman. Here we go. The only one that's got it out of 80 plus wrestlers. The Goldberg entrance. But he only has it if he's got a title belt. If he doesn't, then he doesn't. Now remember, SC Jumpman, too, is in a big feud right now with Raider. And I've got a feeling, maybe not in this pay-per-view event, but in one coming up, then this one or the next one, I think that's going to come to a head and some things are going to get figured out one way or another with the Maniacs, with Raider and his face paint. Something, opponent, something's going to give. Representing the Maniacs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in. 292 pounds, the hardcore champion, the machine. <laughs> that is true. He did. He absolutely did. He will tell you to this day he's not a fan because he's got to inhale the smoke so that when he blows it out of his nose, he's got that going on, and then he is getting hit by all that hot metal, those sparks, just how you make it, that or phosphorus, but either way, he did not like it, does not like it. But if you didn't know how many abs Rob Lee is coming down to the ring with, he's about to tell you, he said bring this on in. Bring it on in for the real thing. Let the big guy get his paws on you. Now, I don't know if he can count to nine, but I do know he can count to eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He will tell you it's not just four horsemen. It's eight abs. And representing the NWO, from Hubbard, Oregon, weighing in at 274 pounds, the Warden, Rob C. 
Simpson. Now, it has been a minute since we have seen Rob come down to the ring. We are to understand that he did have a minor injury. Looks like he's returning tonight. And the one move you don't want put on you is C4. You don't want the C4. If he hits you with the C4, it might be all over. But the crying. So this is not an elimination match. This is straight up triple threat. One winner. One time, one time. Killing you softly with your own songs. But it's not two times, two times. It's only one time. One time. So this should be interesting. We got a lot of big guys in the ring. But remember, SC Jumpman the largest high flyer that we've got in TSW. And it is going to take getting both men in position to pin the other one. Big choke slam. Yeah, and who knows, you know, Becky, maybe in that match, new person coming in, you're like, look, I've already laid knuckles like to other people. This is going to be be easy. Might have overlooked it, but I guarantee you won't overlook her again. Totes has done it. Totes Magos has overlooked some debut matches and lost them. That wasn't really a, you know, I know it was a draw, but it'll be interesting. We will see probably in the next episode so that we can get a winner. GC Rock going down, hitting Hit and jump on the side. Rob ducks the big, like, backhand. But G's not having none of it. Grabs him anyway. And even though I think SC Jumpman is a little faster than both of the competitors, G is staying on top of it pretty well. Like, you can fight somebody faster, but you just gotta, you gotta move earlier, right? You gotta stay on top of it. That's what G's been doing. G going again, letting that blood rush down to the top of the Mohawk. And slams him down one more time. Rob trying to get in on GC Rock. Not having it. Jump, turns it back around. And looks like Take it. No, up to the top turnbuckle. But Rob Simpson gets in on it first. GC Rock trying to get in on it. And Rob backing off. That's what I would do. If these two want to go after it, let them get after it. Oh, big kick right to the chest. And here we go. Jump, hooking in the helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. And down goes Rob Simpson. Now, later in matches, we have seen Jump win off just that. Jump now going for the pin. One, two. And I don't think that G realized that this was an elimination match. That's a very good call, Rowdy, because that's his face scan. <laughs> Nailed it. Nope, Nikita Koloff. The other one that I think looks really close, like really similar, is uh, he was in the WWE, Feed Me, I can't, why can't I remember his name? Oh, there's a... Uh, Right, right. I don't know why I can't remember the guy's name. He always had feed me on his... Anyway. Right back, yeah. Yep. For sure. That was the one I was thinking of. But yeah, it was actually... It was Nikita Koloff face scan. That... that 
that we got downloaded to, to put on to them. So, jump now, starting to deliver. And now you're going to start seeing these guys stay down a little bit more. This would be the ideal time. You have Rob Lee on the outside of it to try to get a pin in before he gets back to his feet. But it's probably still a little early. G sees it coming. Blocks it off that top rope. And Jump returns the favor. If two knees are good, four knees are better. And Rob now back to his feet, but he just jumped in to take a right hand. Another DDT. And Rob now with the side slam, he might be setting up for it. He's calling for it. Looked like he was calling for the C4. And he is. Hits GC Rock, rolls him up. G not in the ropes, two. And a two count, G kicks out in two. Yeah, I do, I can't like, I'm like, I know, I know who it is. And he hits Jumpman with, with the C4. One, two, and uh, only a two count. He just passed it out. The explosives in this match tells G to get back down off the top. New World Order coming for it. Is he going to get it again? Oh, went for it. G sees it coming. Whoa, that was the middle fingers. But Rob breaks it up, gets back on top of Jump. And Jump gets that turn back around. Suplexes him down. GC Rock still down on the ground. Referee not knowing what to make of either one of these things. G starting to get back to his feet. Crazy kick right to the face. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. And you guys know I need it. Now jump goes for the pin. One, two, three. And SC Jumpman, who is one of the better wrestlers in a situation with multiple wrestlers, walks away with the victory. Here is your winner, the machine. SC Jumpman's been on quite the little streak here lately. Recently won the hardcore title. I do have a funny feeling you will see Eagle Star back involved in that before too long. But yeah, SC Jumpman has been on a he's been on a little streak. I've been talking about this for a minute. The TSW United States Championship will be on the line. Kamikaze Von Doom will be the one to bring the title down and recon Delta, the leader of doom will take on the leader of the disciples of doom. Totes McGoats is going to walk him down to the arena, but we've also seen totes walk down Chris danger. We've also seen totes McGoats go after some hunter stuff. So I told you, I'm pretty sure totes is a hired gun. He'll just do whatever he's got to do. Help where he's, need, where he's needed most. But is this help? We don't know. The only thing we know for sure is Toast McGoats beat Cody Rhodes. Last Thursday night. So yeah, pretty excited. Wait till you see this title belt. This is another one where you, you see it. And it is, it is another really good looking title belt. Like I've been working on this one, on all the title belts. Like I work on them for quite a little while. I do little tweaks to them. And I see them. And I have little tweaks here, there, little tweaks there. 
This one, this is another one of those belts because it's so different. It's so different from like no, most of the title belts. Wait till you see it. Take it easy, Simba. Man, we're going to miss you. Make sure to come back. Watch the end. We have this match and the main event. Weighing in at 269 pounds, the Destroyer, Rage. So you see, these guys are walking down with the black Doom symbol. Kamikaze walks down with the white Doom symbol. The two leaders of Doom are going to get it on, and they are going to get it on for the United States Championship. You did miss the Chris Danger match. Rowdy, I'll also explain this to you. Chris Danger, he wasn't wearing it. He should have been. That was my bad. But there will be a YouTube championship on the line. Eight smaller creators will go after it in the first round. Then there will be four larger creators that come in the next one. And it'll be a normal eight-man tournament ending at a pay-per-view event for the YouTube content creator title. It will be a special title and you will only be able to fight for it if you produce content and at a pay-per-view event. So kind of neat. We, we have some kind of cool, some, I figured out a few things. So there are some, uh, there will be some neat and special title belts, but that's why Chris Danger has come to TSW Wrestling to start that tournament. Wait till you see the belt. I wish I wish it was tonight. I wish we would have saw it tonight, but we didn't. Look at this belt though. The champion, accompanied by the Reaper, representing the Doom Brigade from New York, weighing in at 215 pounds. He is the United States Champion. Kobayashi Van Dude. That belt looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? It's a very unique looking belt. Was not easy to make. We had to do some things. We had to manipulate some stuff. Yes, in his division gear for sure. Yeah, when I saw the coat, that's what gave me the idea. You got to make KVD, Kamikaze Von Doom. Then I had, I had downloaded the skull face. That's not in the game. But I downloaded the skull face and then I put it on. Then they made a skull face and then I switched it out. And then I was like, I got to do it. You got to do it. That is for anybody who streams, including you, Eagle. Doesn't matter how big or small. And I believe you're in the tournament. I don't have my little book with me, but yeah, KVD, Kamikaze Von Doom, the whole effing show. So KVD picks up Recon onto his shoulders, and you can tell that KVD gives up some size to Recon Delta. However, but he gives up in some size, he makes up for in speed, and he lets it fly off that top rope. Speaking of the top rope, there he goes. And what comes up has got to come down. Big splash. That belt does match your outfit, Grady. Two. And oh my goodness, that was a quick two count. Now I will tell you, 
Precon, I think, has had an injury because he has been a little bit on the struggle bus, and we know he was in season one one of the most dominant wrestlers that we had. Will he turn it around tonight, or will he not? And a big slam. Recon keeps up the offense. Guys, if you're just joining the stream, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you do. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any time we go live with TSW Wrestling. Share the video. And then share it with somebody in your family so that they know how good of a sharer you are. Matter of fact, share it with your mom and your two brothers. Just to show mom that you're a better sharer than your other two brothers are. That you're the best kid that they raised. <laughs> Big slam down onto the ground. And Recon knows he's gotta he's gotta stay on top of it because if Kamikaze Von Doom gets going, he moves fast, attacks fast, and flies off that top rope. The whole moral of that story was share the video, guys. <laughs> Bulldog and back up to the top again. And now here we go. Hits him with the elbow. The DOD rolls up the leg. Two. Th oh! Kamikaze says, you count that, ref. Did you see this? Then you count right there. Oh, tries to get the foot in. Can't get the foot in. Recon catches him and now setting up for something we haven't seen in a minute. Tries to hit him with the Delta variant. Does. Is he going to go? <laughs> Goes for the pin. One, two, three. And two and three quarters, KVD kicks out of that, avoids the, the stopping. Yes, you, man, you guys do an amazing job, by the way. I just like making up funny stories. Two, and I thought that was going to be three. No, you guys do an amazing job, Sharon. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Um, love it, love it, love it. Here we go, picks him up, near side cradle, slams, going back up to the top, and I don't know if he can make it that far, but he does, splashes the belly, and usually when we see that move, it is followed up by Doom's elbow, but Recon Trying to get back in control of this match. Misses the Superman punch. KVD gets him. Rock bottom out of nowhere. Rolls up the leg. One, two, three. And that is your brand new TSW United States champion. Holy Moses. Kamikaze Van Doom, KVD, the brand new TSW United States Champion. That is going to be a highly coveted belt, I have a feeling. Now it has all come down to this next match. And you know that last week, Ozzy lost the TSW Women's World Title in her quest to beat every single woman in the women's division with the title on the line. However, in her contract, any title match that she grants, she is allowed to rematch immediately. And that is what's happening. So, nobody has been able to beat Ozzy and then beat her again in the Proven match. She is undefeated in the Proven match. So, TSW Women's Championship on the line. Victoria Van Diver, 
the brand new TSW Women's Champion, Ozzy now, in her prove it match, undefeated. I think four and zero probably. Five, four, yeah, I think four and zero. Will she go five and zero and win back the title? About to find out. But it is TSW's main event getting ready to start right now. Thank you, Sentinel, Rebecca Digital, and congratulations to Kamikaze Von Doom winning a brand new championship title belt. I don't know if Rowdy was here. <laughs> I don't think Rowdy was here to hear what's going to happen. The following You're... champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's World Championship. This is... Introducing the challenger, uh... representing the corporation from Wolverhampton, England. The X Factor, Oxley. This is the first time you've got to see a King of the Ring or King of the Ring title belt, but there is the Queen of the Ring title belt. Brand new. Now, she's never going to put that on the line. That's only going to be one in the Queen of the Ring tournament. But if she doesn't have... Her world title, that is the belt she will come out with every time. And Dragunov does have the King of the Ring title belt, but he's the light heavyweight champion, which is the belt that overrides that belt, so you don't get to see it until he loses the light heavyweight title. Crazy. And introducing the champion from Pangea. She's the women's world champion. Vivacious Victoria Vandiver. The vivacious Victoria Vandiver making her way down to the ring in the TSW main event last match of the evening. Putting the title on the line, can she become the first to beat Ozzy two times in a row? Nobody's done it yet. Almost every match Ozzy has ever been in in TSW, all the way back to season one, has had the world title involved. That's why we call her our greatest champion. Men or, men's or women, Ozzy has been the greatest champion. Cheyenne's probably been number two. Rowdy on his way to try to become the greatest men's champion. <laughs> Grady does need to acquire some things. He's got some things out there now. That's what it's about. And I don't know if KVD is still lurking, but if he is, the first show that you saw was a red arena in this arena. So we did change a few things, toned it down a little bit. I do like it quite a bit better. So that was a good call. And honestly, guys, you guys are the things that make these shows so great. By showing up, doing the thing all the time, subscribing to channels, getting new people in there, subscribing to channels, talking to your friends about it, sharing it, maybe not necessarily with your siblings or your mom and your dad or your aunts and uncles or your sisters, roommates, cousins, former boyfriends, but whoever it is you're talking about it with and getting people to come in here, you're what makes it great, gives me the energy to do what I do. Ozzy now, if you remember this past Thursday night, Ozzy got the smack it down late on her. We've never seen anything quite like it. 
and Ozzy comes out already. Comes out already and gets a two count on the champion. She is trying to turn it back around. And Rowdy, in case you didn't know it, this weekend at the pay-per-view, your world title will be on the line against Totes McGoats. Look at that. Look at Ozzy. She's like, hold on. Wait, I mean, there we go. Oh, look, that looks big. Against Toast McGoats. But Toast McGoats, his title belt, the one that's right there, will also be on the line. It won't be a unification match. It'll be a dual title. Dual title match. You versus me, mano y mano. Uno e uno. I don't speak Spanish, but you know what I'm saying. Witcher, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Now, here is this move again. We saw in the very first match of the evening. Never seen it before. It's got to be some kind of new move. I'm shocked that we've never seen it. I am willing, one, two, I am willing to give the people what they want if what they want to see is Toast McGoats with two title belts around his shoulders because I don't wear them around my waist. I'm just kidding. It'll be a great match. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Victoria Van Diver now trying to get back in line. And beat Ozzy again, but this is already quite a different match than it was in the very first time that we had this happen. What is that? Victoria goes up top, takes it off, bounces off this one, this one, nothing but net, and almost gets a three count. <laughs> Rowdy with two belts. That could happen. We are going to find out this weekend. Victoria now whips. Well, I mean, she whipped her to the outside and then whipped herself to the outside and missed everything. And in another kind of crazy move, then plays it up to the crowd. Didn't think she saw Ozzy getting back up, but does. And now a big power bomb on the outside. And that, I'm serious, that could do it. That's the great equalizer, as we like to call it. And now Victoria driving that knee into the chest of Ozzy. Ozzy has got to get this turn back around but we might be witnessing the very first time in TSW history that somebody beats Ozzy two times in a row. Never happened. Crimson hasn't done it, who is the largest female wrestler. She wasn't able to do it. Savannah wasn't able to do it. Misty wasn't able to do it. Ha, 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 ha. Did you just look that up, Rowdy? <laughs> Ozzy jumps to that ring. Looked like she was controlling the match. Victoria trying to get it turned back around. Grabs her head briefly. And still going after it. Now, Ozzy hasn't had the best track record this particular match on the outside of the ring. Not sure I would be trying to take her out there. 2K God, what is going up? DLC coming out, I think, tomorrow. I think it's April 26th, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I would have did the same thing. If I wasn't doing this, I would have did the same thing and looked it up. I would have been like, hold on. So Victoria now smartly probably taking a step back, taking a quick break. Ozzy blocks that one. And now Ozzy getting it turned back around. 
And I think it's coming out. Oh, did it come out today? That would be amazing. I got to go check that out. I didn't even look. I got home and wanted to get this show set up so we could get rolling. That would be amazing if it, if it was out today. That might be why I'm seeing some new moves in here, too. Oh, tomorrow. Okay, okay. But there are some new moves that we found out about, and I'm seeing them in this one. So good deal. Awesome. Thank you very much, Digital. And I will check him out as well. Whoa, Victoria Van Diver now does a Pele kick right to Ozzy's head. Off that second rope, misses the butt buster, and Ozzy back on her quick. Quick like and in a hurry. Wrench it on that knee now. Really, the knee, the ankle, you look at probably the hip. I'm getting a little bit older. Like, I'm thinking that might hurt the hip. Bada, 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 and Totes' hips don't lie. Neither does Frankie Two Fingers. Here we go. This is almost a move that looks very, very similar to Phoenix's move, but there's a lot more backward movement. Rolls up the leg. One, two, three, and Ozzy holds on. Well, re-wins the world title, but remains undefeated. I know. Most people don't even know Pele. Women's World Champion, the X Factor. That probably makes her 5 or 6 and 0 oh in prove it matches. Nobody has been able to beat Ozzy now the second time around. That is crazy. Congratulations goes out to Ozzy as she continues her quest to beat every single woman in the women's division with the world title on the line. That would be amazing. We are going to be doing it again Thursday night. Guys, really appreciate everything you guys do, everything you've done, and everything you're we're doing together. We're building this community together. It's not just Toast My Goats doing anything. It is all of you doing it, too. Really appreciate it. Great show tonight. We got to see some new title belts on the line. We're going to see some more. We got to see some... Brand new wrestlers make their debut. And I'm going to tell you, I got about five or six more wrestlers. We are getting down to a point where we might not be able to add more and more and more people. We've only got about 16 slots left. So might start getting to be a little bit harder to break into TSW Wrestling. Or we may even have, eventually some people might start retiring. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to do? But guys, that's going to do it for tonight. Remember, again, drop the like on the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any time we go live with TSW Wrestling. And we will catch all of you beautiful people in the next one. Peace.